All right, today we're going to be installing Potato TV on our uh, Cody configuration. This is a new add-on by Couch Potato. Uh, this is version uh, 1.0. The add-on uh, will support uh, the latest available IPTV portals, including uh, IPTV 66, IPTV Rocket, and uh, Portal 1 and 2 for IPTV Private Server TV. Uh, it also will support two types of user accounts, the Mac and donation uh, based accounts and donation only based accounts. Um, a good thing about this add-on is that it has a feature that will detect the exact type automatically, so we won't have to mess with that. The add-on also has a feature as an N3U playlist generator. It will rebuild, fix, and sync the playlist with any available XML TV files. Uh, he's giving credit mm -hmm. to Viper 8690 and Patch, uh, and that it will run the PVR simple client settings automatically. So at this time, this release is a light version. It's not gonna have all of the features. However, you can still have the EPG by generating the PVR simple client configuration. Well, video on demand channels are now also supported and playable. <laughs> I know that a lot of people were complaining about uh, the video on demand uh, when we were using the PVR Simple Client. For any users who have Mac base accounts, the best way to run the PVR Simple Client is by choosing the Dynamics link uh, as the playlist reference. The add on will run as a web server gateway, so the IPTV portal session token will be re updated automatically. He also goes on to say that the add-on has only been tested in uh, Jarvis, that uh, he's not crazy about Krypton, and with the default skin Confluence. So we're going to go ahead and load the Confluence skin here, however we will be loading it on Cody 17. I'll make sure that I add a link for this article in case you wanted to go ahead and read it in its entirety. Let's open Cody. The first thing we're going to want to do is click right here on the settings button. Inside your system settings, click on your file manager. Inside file manager, we're going to add a source. You can see the link here. However, I'm going to also add it in the description of this video. Now that we've installed the source, let's go ahead and install the repo. Inside add-ons, click on this icon to enter the add-on browser. Inside your add-on browser, you're going to click install from zip. You may get this pop-up that says for security, installation of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. Click on the settings button. And right here where it says unknown sources, make sure that's on. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Just click yes. So let's hit backspace. Again, we're going to click install from zip file. We're going to click this install. And we're looking for this folder that says stalker. Inside that stalker folder, you're going to see the repository for sick potato. Now the couch potato repository has been installed. So let's go ahead and install Couch Potato. If we click install from repository, you see that the Couch Potato repository is inside that folder. In the video add-ons, you see Couch Potato TV. And that's it. We now install the Couch Potato add-on. Keep in mind, this isn't going to work if you don't have an IPTV subscription. So if you want to see how to set up Couch Potato, make sure to check out our other video simply titled, 
how to set up Cash Potato IPTV. I'd like to thank our good friend George for showing us this add-on and uh, providing us with the links. I definitely want to give a big shout out to the developers of this new add-on and uh, everyone that helped. Most importantly, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.